On the top right corner, click the drop down. Select Billing and Payments. Here, you can see your current plan. And here, you'll get a list of invoices whenever it's generated in future. Go to Subscription. You can view the details of your current subscription. It shows you the features supported in the plan. You can activate a new plan if required. Here you will get all our plans, and depending on your needs you can subscribe to any one of these. For completing the payment, you need to add your debit or credit card. Enter the 16-digit card number. Add the expiry date and CVV as written on the card. Enter your name as shown on the card. Save the details. Verify the details. You can check the features supported in the plan. Read and accept the terms and conditions. Click the subscribe button. You will receive this page upon successful subscription. Once again, go to the billing and payments page. Your new plan is shown over here, plus, your card details are also visible. Going back to the subscription page, you may check the plan details whenever you want to. Please note, that there's an option to add an amount in advance. We intend to give an option to top up here itself, but in the meantime, you can get in touch with our finance team who will provide you with a link through which you can add some money. Let's say, you have made a top up of 3000 rupees. It will be shown, here, in the credit balance. Here, you can view the transactions related to your credit balance. Just as an example, assume that you've added 3,600 rupees as a top-up, and also let's say we have refunded 600 rupees back, all such transactions will be shown here. And the final credit balance would be 3,000 rupees. Now, we will show you a real business account. As you can see, this is their credit balance. Let's check their past transactions. All the transactions will have details such as credit transaction ID, that you can use to filter and search a specific transaction. Similarly, there's a UTR number and its filter. And also a date range filter, for searching the transactions between dates. Here, you can see how the credit balance was used for the payment of a subscription. We will open the invoice. And as you can see, the payment method is shown as credits, which means, credit balance was used. You can download the invoice from here. Or you can go back to the main page. And from the invoices tab, check and download the invoice you need. Now, let's return to our previous example and continue. Here you can view all the cards you have saved. Moreover, you get the option to choose a default card for transactions. Here, in the payouts section, you need to add the bank details for receiving the sales earnings. Choose your bank account type. Enter the name as present in your account. Type your account number. Confirm it once again. Add the IFSC code of your bank, you will get this from your passbook, checkbook, or internet. The other details will appear automatically. Enter your mobile number and email ID. Click here. If you add multiple accounts, you'll get the option to choose the default one for receiving payouts.